What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 24 and our hangar's coming along really nicely. I gotta say this catwalk is looking beautiful and I really like that extending thing that we did last episode. But this episode's going to be all about the hangar floor um, that we're going to complete. And off camera I did a little bit of adding these blocks in uh, to try and plan out how we were going to do this. Um, so I added normal blocks all along this side right here. I added a couple of heavy duty blocks right here to mark where the thrusters are going to be. And then I added a couple more over here uh, to mark this thruster. So what we're going to do, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to move Big Red out of here and we're going to continue kind of flooring in this area. However, as we're doing this, we're also going to be filling in, filling them in with, uh, with a welder. And I've thought a lot about this, about how I want to do this, and we are going to use the nanites. Um, there, were, there was a mixed bag in the comments last episode. A lot of people wanted to see them, a lot of people wanted to see what I could do without the nanites. Um, pretty much if we weren't going to use the nanites, we would have built basically this in, uh, in welder form, pretty much. And it would, have, uh, it would have welded these things. But we are going to use the nanites because I want to see... Um, I want to see how they deal with the power in the base that we have since we have like a, a fully renewable power system. I want to see if we have enough power to do that. And it'll be our first big, um, you know, gigantic power draw. So first thing that we're going to do before we do anything else, before we get the nanites set up, is we're going to try and bring some of our materials from the main base to here. And I don't mean like a, a truckload of materials like we brought in that thing, but I mean we're going to try and bring a conveyor of materials uh, with us all the way over here. So we're going to be building a large cargo container right there. So let's actually get that set up right now. Uh, cargo... Is this the, okay, it's a small one, but it's like the numbered thing, so we can we can get the big one as well. So we can get a large cargo container. It looks like we're going to need some stuff real quick. Some of these. Luckily, we brought a bunch of them. And we'll place that. No, no. <laughs> not that. There we go. We'll place it like that. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's got a, a conveyor on every side. So we're going to place it right there. It's probably kind of a weird placement, but uh, the way I'm imagining this is we're going to have the conveyors come along top right here and then go right back into there. Uh, and then over here is where we're going to have the nanite thing. So let's... Uh, and the nanites require a lot of materials, so I don't even know if we have enough to build them. If we don't have enough, we'll try the welder thing, but uh, but we'll see. Uh, so nanites, if I remember correctly, need the uh, nanite control station, control facility. And I hope I'm using the correct nanite mod, because I know one's broken and one is uh, fixed, I guess. So I guess we'll soon find out which one I'm using, if it's the, uh, if it's the correct one or the incorrect one. Now let me real quick check the nanites again. Is there anything else we need? I guess we could add some upgrades, but for now we're probably fine. We don't need an ore detector. We're not going to be mining with nanites in this uh, in this season. Just using them to fill in this gigantic swath of, of uh, steel stuff. Uh, okay, let's... Well, actually, no. Let's start on this side, because it'll be easier. Um, how many... Let me make sure how many of these things we have. We're going to need some of those. Okay, and we're just going to we're just going to build out the area for now and then we're going to come through and place the blocks later. So, I'm going to start with a conveyor junction right here and we're going to go conveyor tube for a little bit of distance. And then eventually we're just going to put another conveyor junction. We're just going to kind of keep going like this. So, you know, a very a very fun uh, episode this. Right here, put a conveyor junction. That's sideways. It's going to bother me eventually. I don't know how it's going to bother me, but it will bother me. Conveyor junction and let's keep going. And conveyor junction. Okay, good. How far have we gotten? Have we gotten so far? Okay, we haven't gotten that far, but you know, it, it looks like it's going to go relatively, uh, relatively quickly. I don't really know what I'm going to do when I get to the curve, but I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see. Should I be counting these out? Is it, does it matter? Do you guys think? Let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one of these. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ice, it's right there. And one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Conveyor junction. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ah! <laughs> okay, so that's what I was talking about. Uh, what are we gonna do when we get here? Um, I guess we'll just here. You know what? We'll place. Well. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to go straight out like this and then come back in like this and we'll get a uh, we'll get a junction piece up here. Turn it over so it's normal. Okay, a junction piece right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So come in right here. And in fact, at one point we would be able to just cut right across, but how far did you go out? 
one, two. You only went out two here. Okay, one, two, three. Conveyor junction. This is a really weird technique, but you know what? If, if we did it the other way, I think it would take too much, uh, too long to weld. It would take a long time. Over here, and then turn. Need to turn the right way, though. Thank you. And then straight back towards our piece. Uh, this is interesting. I didn't think about this. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's let's cut back a little bit. I'm pretty sure we need to come on right here, so we need to break this one and then use that as the piece that we're going to turn. Four or five, and conveyor junction! Boom. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was the hurdle, now we can just go. How close are we? Uh, not that close. Alright. How close are we now? Oh, we're really close. Okay. One, two, three... No! Okay, well I'm closer to base now than I am to anything else. Let's just go back to base. And that should be the last one. Yes, okay. Alrighty, let's, uh, we're gonna break in here. We'll break in here, too. We're pretty much just gonna go right over it. Like, right through this. Uh, and mine our way out here. Alrighty, there we go. We've connected everything out there. We just need to go and weld it now. That, that's gonna be the fun part, isn't it? Um, actually, we can weld a couple of them, since we got enough parts for at least a few of them. So, at least we can make this room airtight again, for the most part. We just need to go and grab more uh, more stuff now. Let me put everything back, in fact, including all these random things I have right here. Uh, yeah, put everything back, and then I'll just grab what I need, pretty much. So a bunch of these things would be nice. Just a full inventory of these things. And I'm going to do this by hand, because I think if I were to try and take the ship into these uh, these small little areas that we're going to be dealing with, it would, um, it would crash a couple times. So yeah, we're not going to do that. All right, here we are on top. This goes all the way back to, well, over there, where you see the marker. Um, let's start welding. This will be fun. But you see what I mean? A ship could not get into this little small uh, area. That should probably get welded. That's going to be a problem at some point. <laughs> we won't worry about it for now. All right, let's go. The welding mission has begun. Also, I love how this little bit right here is like not used at all anymore. I don't know what we would use it for, since we've already built the thing. I guess if we wanted to make another train, it would be good. Um, although, technically, now we could use just the normal train track. Oh, man. Is that all our inventory can carry? Is a little... Oh. Okay, I might actually use the ship then, in that case. Oh, you know what? I've, I haven't been thinking. While we've been doing this, and I might have just depressurized the base by doing that too quickly. Um, yes. Yes, I did indeed. Or it's angry about this. Or it's angry that up there there's a problem. I don't know what it could be. Um, but I do need to tell the base to make a lot of um, steel plates. Because we're going to need them. Be real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to need the steel plates. Big time. Um, I don't. If I had to guess how many we're going to need for the floor, uh, I would guess that we're going to need about twenty to 30,000 of those things. So, uh, And I think we have some iron still. Let's check. Uh, FE. We can check this out. We have 8,000 iron here. We have another 1,000 right there with another 8,000 right here. 8,000, 7,000, 7,000. Yeah, we've got iron for days. So let's just go ahead and say make us like... Make us 20,000. And th th see that 20,000, we already have 5,000. That'll put us uh, a nice uh, bit of ways there. Okay. Um, these. I want to make these. So give me pretty much everything you can related to these. And let's go. <laughs> let's go. So some of you might have been might be looking at these connectors right here or conveyors right here and saying, "Oh, why didn't you just use the con conveyors as the blocks? You know, like put conveyors in instead of this line of blocks, just conveyors all the way along these square ones." Uh, well, I have heard and I, I I haven't verified this before, although I guess it would be a good Space Busters episode. Um, I haven't verified it before, but I have heard that those square ones take up more CPU, more something than the other ones. So that if you use uh, too many of those those uh, cubed ones instead of these ones right here, you will uh, lag up your game. Now, again, I haven't verified that, uh, but I've heard that before. So if any of you 
actually know for sure in the comments below. Please, um, please shed some light on that because it's something that I've only heard. Not confirmed. Okay. Actually, you know what would be a smart way of doing this is carrying around a single connect, uh, uh, yeah, connector right here, and then just grabbing all the materials I need in the connector as I need them. I think that's what we're going to do. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to attach a connector onto this thing temporarily, and it's just going to be there to... Are you telling me you didn't take out... Oh my gosh. Apparently it didn't take out everything I needed for a connector. So we're going to have to try this again next next go. We need motors. And I said motor, motor. So we need them. We need them to make those motor, motors. Okay, so watch the genius. You guys ready? I'm going to put one of these babies right here. Weld her up. Weld him up. Then, once I run out of stuff, I can come back here and grab. Of course, that doesn't say anything about what happens when I run out of um, jetpack, but... Yeah. Yeah, see? I can just grab everything right here, except for those construction components which are not yet made. But I can get another little bit done before I have to go all the way back. So the idea would be then I would destroy this and move it along with me as I go. I need like little um <laughs> Little gingerbread men, or not ginger, what, nutcracker men, like lining this thing, giving me like the salute and stuff. It'd be really cool. The the thing with the swords, you know, that they do for like kings. Sir Andrew, your, I don't know, I, I guess my, your carriage awaits. Where the carriage would be the, uh, um, monorail. Cannot withdraw six construction components and some interior plates. That is false. My good sir. In fact, I have those. I have those. I have. I have everything. I have everything I would ever need, except for hydrogen. So, what are you guys doing? I guess I already asked this last episode, but this episode is come probably going to come out uh, only about a week before Christmas. Um, so, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Anyone doing anything insane, like going white water rafting on Christmas? How crazy would that be? Although technically. Technically, uh, snowboarding is like whitewater rafting, isn't it? Because you're on water, technically, and it's white, technically. So ain't that, ain't that neat how that, how, how you can science or you can lawyer your way into saying that snow is white water. All right, it occurs to me that we're out of construction components and looking forward again, I think we're out of iron. Um, real quick check. Yes, we are out of iron. So, mining time! <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. We just got a, bun a bunch of iron and uh, we should be able to make these things now. Uh, let me check. Yep, they are making correctly. Awesome. Okay, do we have our... Uh, yes, it made us our construction components. Awesome, we can continue. Let's keep... We had construction components this whole time. What? Okay, it's fine. Oh, man, we're almost there. I can see it from here. Obviously, I'm right over it. <laughs> And we ran out. It's okay. Luckily, we're at this thing, so we can actually grab some uh, some some of that good hydrogen without having to go too far. Um, all right, let's grab some more of these, and we should be able to make it to the last stretch, assuming we have enough materials, which we do. This will bring us all the way there. And then, actually, that'll be really nice because that means we won't have to. We'll be able to pretty much dock this thing right here to be able to go and grab materials, so it won't be uh, nearly as long of a trip to do pretty much anything. All right, perfect, awesome. Okay, now let's, um, what do I need? Metal grids, motors, displays, and computers for this thing? Well, I've got a connection right over here, which actually I'm gonna destroy. Okay, I'm gonna destroy that and bring it a little closer um, so that we can use it right here. 
Okay, so I needed some metal grids, which I have. I needed some computers, which I have. I needed some displays, which I have. And I needed something else, which I forgot. Looks like motors were what I need. Motors and interior plates. So I'll grab a couple motors and interior plates are right here. Awesome. That should be this. You just need a couple more interior plates, which luckily we have thousands now. After that, uh, after that iron run. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to be our... Is it the right way up? Please tell me it's the right way up. Uh, yes, it looks like it's the right way up. The numbers are looking good. Okay, it would have bothered me forever if it was the wrong way. Alright, let's uh, bring this down here. So we need to go forward one and down. Is what I think we're going to do. And down, yep. Just like that, and connect that. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> but then again, that's the, that's the plus of having this thing right here. There we go. We are officially connected to the main base from this uh, from this side base. How does it look from here? It doesn't look half bad. I mean, you can kind of see it there, but but it's not that bad. I could have used the other pipes that just look better, but I don't really know how I would route that, and I think they would require way more materials than just using this one right here. Um, so I think it's going to be fine. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the nanite factory. So let me grab some steel plates from here. Uh, steel. Steel plates. Uh, wow. Okay, I forgot we had made a bunch of thousands of those. And we're going to extend... The oh, nope. That's the wrong one. I have heavy iron blocks here. Or heavy armor blocks. I don't want to place those. We're not going to battle in this hangar. Yet. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, place that. And uh, let's see what this thing needs. Oh my, it needs so many things that it is actually off of the screen. If you see that on the right. Wow. That is interesting. Okay, let's start with the interior plates. I don't know how many we need. But I know we need a bunch, so let me just grab as many as I can and fill them up. Okay, interior plates are done. Now we need some large steel tubes, which, again, I'll pretty much just grab all the ones I can. 73. We're going to need more than that. Please make me another 500. You know what? Let's just go in with this thing and see if, if we have enough stuff here. Yeah, it did some of it. In fact, we can see the full list here. Superconductors are going to be the big one, aren't they? Um, yeah, let's hop out of this real quick and see if we can make superconductors. I think we probably can, but we need like 2,500, which is going to take forever. Yeah, I think it's 2,500, right? No, it's not even close to that. Holy crap. Uh, wipe out all those. Make me, make me 2,000 for good measure. Um, what else do we need? Well, let's... Okay. Let's check this, actually. I was going to weld this first while we wait for the superconductors, but I think it's fine. Um, it looks like we're going to need eight gravity components, uh, a bunch of power cells, which I'm sure we have, a bunch of computers, which I'm sure we have as well, and a bunch of steel plates, which I, we probably have. In fact, this thing probably no longer has steel plates because of that. Okay, well, this thing's practically useless because it doesn't have steel plates anymore. Uh, steel plates. Let's get the steel plates situated since those will be easy. Okay, steel plates are done. Next, uh, the gravity components, which I think... Yeah, we do have some. Uh, I would like to grab around eight of these. Exactly eight of these. Alright, gravity components are done. I'd grab. I'd like to grab uh, 600 computers. Do we have 600 computers? We have almost exactly 600 computers. It's not enough computers. We need more computers. You always need more computers. Make me a thousand more computers. I would like to grab, of detector components, I'd like to grab 125, which uh, I don't know if we'll have that many. We do, actually. Awesome. For our power cells, we're going to need 325. <clears throat> Where are the power cells? Do we have any? Or are we, uh, are we low? Or am I blind? I might be blind. That is always an option. Um, power cells. Make me, like, 400, please. And in fact, skip the line. In fact, you know what? Skip the line with the computers. Those will make pretty much instantly. Look at this. Yeah, computer, computers are real quick. Alright, now we're done with computers. Now it looks like we just need power cells and superconductors. Okay. Well, that that's an easy life then. Um, oh my god, we already, we already made most of the superconductors. Or did we have them? I bet we just had a bunch lying around. From, uh, from last time we built one of these things on the other base. What do we use them for? Oh, you know what? I bet you we use those for jump drives. If I had to guess. Jump 
Yeah, I bet. Yeah, okay, we used a thousand per jump drive. That's what it was, because I remember we made a bunch of them uh, on, on the moon base, but I didn't know, like, why. And we brought them over on Big Red and then unloaded them and just never used them. All right, last thing we need are going to be these power cells right here. And we just need a couple more of them. Just a couple more. About 50 more power cells will, will be fine. 50 of these babies, please. Coming right up. All right, there we go. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to weld it with this because it's going to be faster. This thing, the other thing's a bit slower. Uh, so yeah, this should be a little quicker. There we go. We got those nanites up and running. Question is, will they eat all our steel plates? Yes. Will they eat all our power? Probably. I guess we'll see. All right, welcome to the world, nanites, for the second time in, in the uh, first time in the season, second time in the whole uh, series. Now, nanites, I gotta ask you something. How are you how are you looking on power? Are you not liking it? Or what, what what are you thinking? Um, I don't want you mining. I don't want you doing medical. I don't want you deconstructing. You can clean up. I don't want you doing that. I just want you repairing and constructing. Use assemblers. Um, okay, why not? It's probably a really bad idea. That's a really bad idea. I'm not going to do that. Um, all right, it's on. There we go. Welcome to the world, nanites. Uh, can I see any of you beautiful, beautiful little nanites? Uh, oh, there they are. Yeah, little nanites flying around. Nope, wait, nope. Those are, that's not nanites. Those are just blocks that I need to destroy. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, okay, there's the nanite control thing. I don't know. I guess we'll see them. Oh, I think I saw one. They're kind of going that way. I don't know where they're headed, but they're they're working on something maybe over here. I don't know. I'll, I'll just let them do their thing. Uh, we'll build a couple of construction um, bonus things as well. These things that go on this side right here. Now, here's the question. Can nanites construct their own upgrades? What do I need here? Interior plates. Uh, because that would be interesting. A little, little meta, meta nanite action. Um, okay, so we need a constructor upgrade. Let's get three constructor upgrades and we'll get well we can do four and four four constructor upgrades and four speed upgrades how about that and see what happens one two three can i fit right there three and four okay we'll let them build those and uh and and we'll finish up with this stuff okay now that we've done that let's move big red out of the way we're going to move big red back into the valley of uh of death and we're going to try and get this whole area um kind of filled in with blocks and we'll come back and see how the nanites are doing eventually. I don't know what they're up to right now, but uh, but yeah. So let's move Big Red and we'll get back. Big Red, let's go ahead and disconnect you. Go up a little bit and we're gonna have to go to the side. Oh, this way. Yes. But we're going a little fast there. I cannot see anything. I don't know what's going on. Oh man, it's a bit tight, isn't it? Ow. It's fine. It's fine. Just a scratch. Just but a flesh wound. Alright, front and center again. Make sure Big Red is tilted properly. And let's uh, let's go a little bit forward and we're gonna land right in that uh, in that little area down there. It's a bit tough to drive Big Red because it's so big and unwieldy. It's in the name. But uh, we're going to do some upgrades eventually. To try and make it a little bit easier to fly. Oh my god. The camera is a pain in the butt in this game. Sometimes. There we go. We'll land her right here very slowly. We're probably going to land it facing forward. But that's fine. And poop. Okay, she's locked down. Let's go and do the upgrades on the base. I'm always worried uh, flying Big Red. I'm worried that I'm going to crash it or something or flip it. Oh my gosh. If we flipped Big Red, how would we ever get it back unflipped? I think it would be impossible. Oh man, look at this place without a Big Red in it. Look how huge this place is. Okay, of course, we, uh, we kind of destroyed all these blocks here uh, because they were unbuilt. But, you know, sacrifices sometimes have to be made 
You know, the nanites will be actually very nice for uh, for keeping this this place um, repaired. You know, if Big Red comes and goes a lot, it's going to be kind of uh, very, very um, commonly damaged. Very frequently damaged. Okay, uh, so we're going to take our mining ship and we're going to mine through this little area right here. And that's going to allow us to um, to finish it up pretty much. That, I think that's the only area we needed to do. We needed to move Big Red for. So let's, let's do it. I hear them. Yeah, I see them, in fact. What are they doing? What are they trying to get? These, by the way, right here are where the uh, where the hydrogen thrusters are. That's why they're like the blocks are gone right there. It's because the hydrogen thrusters pretty much ate right through them. So yeah. I'm curious. Have you guys been working on this? No, I don't think they work on their own thing. I don't know. It's cool to see my shadow on that wall, by the way. Alrighty, lava zenator, let's go. Um, unrecharge and disconnect. We are ready to go. All right, I love this thing. I think they're grabbing materials right now. I, I can't be sure though. All right, just mine out this area. It was like, it's a perfectly sized area. It was like made for this. Look at this. This is like perfect size. Okay, mine out a little bit more and, uh, oh, hopefully those blocks won't fall actually. Cause that would be annoying. In fact, I bet you we could land Big Red back in here and it would be totally fine. Let's turn this off. Uh, because the nanites would actually eventually get to the stuff. But I don't know. It's probably the case. Uh, okay, let's go grab more steel plates and we're going to start uh, building these. I don't know what the nanites are doing right now. Will it tell me? Because they literally haven't done anything. I just see them flying back and forth. It looks like they're scanning. We have some construction nanites, so I guess they're actually doing stuff, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I know for a fact that the area that a uh, heavy thruster is, is, like a hydrogen thruster is, is about a 4x3. Kind of weird dimensions, but that seems to be what it was in this particular area. So, oh shoot, did I just not... I think I missed this whole area here. Well, it's small enough that I could probably mine it by hand and it won't be much of a problem. So yeah, no big deal. There we go. Didn't want to break that piece, but the, the little bit wasn't going. Okay. Um, where was the other side? There was another... I guess... Is it right here? It might be right here. Where the other bit was. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. I think this is where it was. I am not entirely sure, though. That means that these... Yes, okay, okay, I've got everything in line. So everything from here on out is going to be the light armor blocks. So the only reason we're using heavy is because that's where the hydrogen thrusters are going to be, so it's where pretty much there's going to be a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, let's... let's. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going with this. This will be a very fun part of the episode. Maybe we time-lapse. <laughs> All right, we've got most of the area done. There are a couple of very small holes, but most of it's uh, done. This is another hole, yep. And I believe there was one more over here, yep. Uh, and I, but I don't think the nanites are actually doing anything. So we, we need to take a look at that. Uh, oh, I know why. I know why. It's because this isn't actually connected. This needs to be connected to that, which I was not um, thinking of. What? All components. Wait, real quick, put everything back. Uh, one, two, three, probably. Oh, maybe it's two. One, and yes, it was two. Boom and boom. All right, nanites. Now you guys should be able to do whatever you want. 
I do hope it doesn't actually go and drag all my stuff, though. And that might actually be what it does. But uh, we'll see. Let's just let it do some stuff and see if it actually, well, does some stuff. If I remember correctly as well... Oh my god, I, I just love that right there. What's that light coming from? Is that from that? Yeah, it must be. I just love that little light right there. Or that little shadow that we can see of ourselves. Like, hello. Nope. Hello. Nope. Hello. Other side. Hello. Hello. No, yeah, but if I remember correctly, last uh, last season when we used the nanites, they didn't start working until they randomly just started working. So... I think we might just have to like chill and let them do their own thing. It looks like they're going back in there to do something. It's entirely possible that they're just gathering all the materials still for some reason. Oh wait, hang on! This was at 21,000. It's no longer at 21,000. Therefore they built something. Hey, you see the top of Big Red over there? That's really cool. I wonder what they built! And I wonder if it's actually back at base. Because I think they target the oldest blocks first, if I remember. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This hangar looks so beautiful when there's nothing inside it. <laughs> and it's only the sun. It just looks so good. So much so. No, I'm not going to do it. It'd be too much work. So much so that I want to make a separate hangar for Big Red. Just have Big Red off in a little corner. And then we can just be able to see out this hangar right here. It just looks so good, doesn't it? Empty space looks so good. It always looks good. If you ever have a, have a house or a room or something and you want it to look good, just like take stuff away. Make it more empty and it'll look good. That's that's just how cleaning works. Make things more empty, they will look better. I haven't not noticed that we're uh, down some steel plates, so they've obviously been using some somewhere. It's just that I don't know where they have been using them. All right, I think that's probably a good place to end it. Um, I haven't verified that the nanites actually work. However, we have been seeing a decrease in our uh, in our iron reserves. This number has been going down. Um, so I suspect they've been doing something. I just don't know what. And I, I, I suspect it has something to do with um, random blocks that we've not placed uh, back at the main base. They're trying to do something there. Actually, wait a second. What if... Hang on. I know there were a lot of blocks we didn't place back over here. What if they've been building up the... Uh, I don't think they can go that far. Did I do that? I might have done that. I don't know which one. I mean, that one's completely done. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. I did not do that. Oh, I think they've been doing this. I think they've been... Uh, placing in these blocks right here instead of working on anything else. Oh, I think we've solved the mystery. I think the nanites have been looking at the the earliest blocks we've ever placed and trying to place those instead of placing the ones that we care about. We should totally break this. I don't know how we would have forgotten that for so long. But yeah, I think that's what's going on. Um, where will they place blocks? They're going to place blocks all along here. They'll probably go and place all these blocks here. They'll probably go in place. I didn't know they had a range that far. I thought they had a range that was, like, extremely small. But, um, I guess that's not the case, because they're clearly uh, putting blocks in here um, to fix that stuff. This, wait a second, is this a remnant of the ship that we used to use? What ship even was that? That was way early in the season. That We used to use a ship, and I, I remember it crashed, and I think that's where that spotlight came from. That's hilarious. I'm actually surprised that never got pulled up by the, the trash thing. But whatever. All right, this is a really good place to end it. Um, I think our series is coming along really well. We've got the hangar done almost. Well, not, I mean, the floor is done, and that's a huge step towards it being done. Um, pretty much the only thing we have to do now is going to be little small hangars if we want any more ships and a roof. And then it'll be pretty much done, which is awesome. That's actually a really big accomplishment because I don't think, I don't remember if you, do you guys remember if we completed the hangar in season two? I don't remember if we did it or if we uh, just mostly completed it. I don't remember. Anyways, if you guys liked that episode, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.